Satnam! Today I'm going to share with you how to grow sprouts. It's going to be a complete process from the very beginning to the very end. I wanted to grow um, sprouts for a long time. I read about it in the book, but I'm a visual person, so it was kind of like hard for me to make sense of how to really do it. Until this beautiful Spanish lady, Carmen, came into my house and uh, taught me by showing it. So it's really, really easy and delightful. And I want you to ascend. And sprouts will help you with the process. And ascension is nothing else but just bringing divine into your life. So you'll need a jar. You'll need seeds. And I do recommend to buy the seeds like in organic, a health food store. Anything like... Um, close to where you live and then you will need a tablespoon tablespoon you will pour some seeds into the tablespoon just a spoonful spoonful and then you will pull that pour that in the jar and then you will add some water you will leave a jar just for a couple hours with the seeds and water in it. After the couple hours, you will need some fabric or gauze. I use gauze. A piece of gauze over the jar and then a piece of elastic. Close that to make a lid on the jar, just like that, after a couple of hours. And then you will drain the water and now you will need a dark towel. You will put this jar with soaked seeds in it into a dark towel and you will leave it in the dark for a day. Um, as one day passes, you will get the jar, fill some cold water again, uh, just for a couple minutes to refresh them, and then you will drain the water and put the jar in a um, dark towel again. You will repeat the process on a third day, once again. On a fourth day, uh, every day you open it, it will be like a magic, seeing little sprouts like growing, growing, growing. And on a fourth day, you will get it out and you will just leave it someplace on the sun, but not on the, under the direct sun. And then day or two and you will see sprouts becoming like really, really green and filling up all the content of the bottle. Um, sometimes like Chinese cabbage sprouts, I notice they just like kind of like they tend to stay like short and low, you know, I don't know, maybe I'm not knowing how to do it the best way. But uh, here is uh, um, um, alfalfa sprouts, and you see this is just from one tablespoon originally, one tablespoon originally, and see it's like filled, the whole thing. It's like so delicious, so silky, so awesome. I mean, imagine how many uh, like sprout plants would grow out of these, you know, tiny sprouts, like the whole field. Imagine like eating something, eating these sprouts in your salads, it's like eating the whole energy of that awesome, beautiful green field. And um, turning all of that energy into the divine blessing in your heart so you can be a shining star for humanity and for yourself, just for your simple life. And uh, sorry, I do get passionate, <laughs> so maybe I shouldn't apologize. That's a good thing. In your spiritual path, just to deter, um, extinguish the word or the phrase, I'm sorry. Well, anyway, uh, I would like to also share with you um, my, my favorite way to eat sprouts. Um, if you are a healthy, aware, like have to watch for your health even more, than ordinary regular people, I do recommend gluten-free bread. You toast your bread, you put uh, some hummus over it, 
and then you put a ton and ton of sprouts over it, just like this. A ton and ton of sprouts. And it's so delicious. It's so awesome. And it's going to make you so awesome. Thank you, Satnam.